Hey everyone, back in Stepensky's kitchen. Um, I wanted to go over a recipe that I just posted on the wellness page and you can eat it for lunch or you can add it to, um, say you're having hot dogs or hamburgers or whatever you're eating this week for no, no low sugar week. Um, you can add it as a side dish. Um, so whatever, but I just wanted to show you um, how I do it. So it's the recipe, if you haven't seen it, it's um, Greek zoodle salad. And zoodle, a zoodle is a zucchini noodle, okay? So instead of doing pasta, um, we're, we're gonna go all veggies. So it's, um, it, trust me, it's good, it's really good. Um, so I wanna show you how I make my zoodles. You can buy zoodles in the store already made. You don't have to do this. It's cheaper to do it this way, doesn't take long, it's not hard, okay? And it doesn't, you know, there's no big contraptions you have to put on your counter or anything like that. So I've already prepped most of the recipe and I'm gonna get into the, um, how much sugar is in each, in some of the items. So I've already cut up, um, I don't know if you can see this, but red onion, I have cucumber cut up and um, grape tomato, and the Greek olives, like that's what really makes the recipe the Greek olives. So I've already pre-cut that. Um, I already have my dressing ready to go. It's just olive oil, lemon juice, and oregano, salt and pepper. I didn't even have lemon juice, so I used lime juice. So I don't even know how this is gonna come out, but um, I didn't realize I didn't have any lemon juice. And so the Greek olives are, I get them from Aldi, and they look like this. They come in this jar. Okay, and there is, I look at the um, sugar content and there's no sugar listed on here, okay? So that's the olives. And it also calls for feta cheese. So I got this um, feta cheese also from Aldi. And this has, um, I think this does have sugar in it. Let's see, I can't remember. Yeah, one gram. This has one gram of sugar per two tablespoons. Um, the recipe calls for two ounces, which I believe is probably four tablespoons. I'm not gonna measure my feta. I'm just gonna kind of add it in at, at the end by each like one tablespoon at a time just to see. So again, two tablespoons, one gram of sugar, which is only a quarter, tea, quarter teaspoon of sugar. It's just a little tiny bit of sugar. So not bad. So the zoodle part, this is the fun part. So I have a zucchini here. And what I usually do is, and I'm gonna bring this, oh no, you can see that right here. I'm gonna chop off the ends. I already washed it. Okay, so I chopped off the ends, okay? You wanna get this, the end like as flat as you can, not at an angle, like I kinda cut that at an angle, which uh, I'll have to fix it later. So here's the tool. I bought this at Bed Bath & Beyond. I think it was $15 and I had a $5 off coupon, so I got it for 10. And it comes with this little cover thing, which I'll show you after, it's like two pieces. This is so easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this whole zucchini right here in front of you and to show you how easy this is. You don't have to press hard. There's the blades are in there and see the circle? It cores it out. It takes that core out of your zucchini. So. You want to get your zucchini in the middle, right where that core is. No big deal. Just put it in, you know. So put it right in there. Now I'm holding it with my hands. Can't just let go. Doesn't like stay there. Um, and then you just, all you have to do is turn it. So I kind of keep it toward the top so you can turn and the zoodles will just come right out. So I'm not pressing hard and see, look at the zoodles coming out. Isn't that cool? Like I said, they, you can buy like a container of zoodles, like at ShopRite, I've seen it. Um, let's see, where else have I seen it? I don't know if I saw it at BJ's, but I bought the zucchini at um, Aldi. And, okay, so I'm gonna show you, I did about half of it. So I'm pulling it out and you can see the core, right? So here's the leftover. So now what I do is it's, the core, I want to get that cut off. I usually do about half and it's kind of at an angle. So I want to get that straight because it's easier to twist in here when it's not at an angle. So halfway through, I usually just cut that piece off and to get it back straight again. 
and then I go back in and finish the rest. It's like really easy. So I make zoodles. Um, let's see, what do I use zoodles for? Well, for the salad first. I also do a shrimp scampi zoodle, which it's so good. It's really, really easy recipe. Shrimp and zoodles and some garlic and I think it calls for um, white wine, uh, white wine, cooking wine. Okay, so see how my zucchini is like crooked? That means it's not straight. So I'm going to pull it back out and then I'm going to cut it one more time. So it gets kind of weird when it's not straight. I want to get it down to the end so I could show you the other piece, what it's used for. All right, so yeah, you do shrimp scampi um, zoodles and then I do... I'll make zoodles and I'll saute it up just a little bit. Um, not too much because I don't like it soggy. And I'll use that for my pasta instead of um, if I make like meatballs, spaghetti and meatballs, I'll, I'll use zoodles instead. Okay, so now I'm down to, see that little piece in there? Can't really get in there with my hand. So they provide this. It's got little prongs on it, if you could see. And you push it right down on there to get that last bit and you then you just turn this thing and then you get all the way down to the end. Okay. And there's the rest. Oop, drops a little on the floor. Okay. So there is our pile. We won't even use those pieces. That's one zucchini. So if I do shrimp scampi for me and my husband, I'll do two zucchini. So I'll have a zucchini here. I mean, that's a lot. But when you start cooking this up, it doesn't shrink, but it softens and it, it doesn't like look like a big pile anymore. So you, but I mean, we're literally eating a whole zucchini and shrimp. I mean, nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of slice it because I don't want to, we don't want to eat this salad in big, long strands like this. And so I'm just going to slice it up just a, just a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to put that in my bowl. I feel like, um, I don't know, lately I've been doing all these cooking things for you guys. I feel like I'm Martha Stewart or something. <laughs> okay. And then I did another zucchini um, earlier, so... Two zucchinis um, calls for this recipe. All right, and then I'm going to stir this up and pour in the olive oil. Now, if I don't like the way the lime tastes and I feel like it's um, doesn't have a good flavor to me, I might add a little apple cider vinegar because I just I just like olive oil and vinegar, but this stuff just called for the lemon juice instead. So, okay. Gosh, this looks so good. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I don't see a lot of red in there, so I think I might add some more tomatoes. I might even add some more olives. Okay, so um, I have probably about maybe a tablespoon and a half in this other leftover feta that I had before. I'm add that in. I think all my tomatoes and stuff are kind of going to the bottom. Yeah. Nice. Looks good. So there you go. That's um, Greek zoodle salad. And this is like great to even bring on a picnic and stuff. So um, I'm going to have this with our hamburgers, I think. I'm actually, um, I may eat some for lunch too. So it looks really good. I want to try it. I might have to add some um, vinegar. So um, I hope you guys um, think this thing is cool. Um, again, if you don't want to do the work, I mean, it didn't take me that, that long, you know, to do it. Um, you can buy them already pre-done, but it's probably going to be a lot more expensive. So I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope you try this recipe. And if you do, leave me a comment so um, I can let you uh, let me know how you like it. All right. Have a great day. Bye.